Hi everyone, my name is Nina Melendez. I am the virtual content specialist for multilingual learners and English language learners for mathematics grades 9 to 12. Today we are going to be looking at Algebra 1, lesson um, day 27, lesson on completing the square. And we are going to focus on how can completing the square help us to solve more complicated equations. So we're going to look at our introduction launch portion of this lesson, which we will focus on the concepts of multiplying binomials, squaring binomials, the distributive property, standard form of a polynomial, and the word analyze. So let's look at our key vocabulary words and concepts. Okay, so looking at our key vocabulary words and concepts, we have that the main idea is multiplying binomials. Remember, a binomial is a polynomial with two terms. So I'm multiplying two polynomials with two terms, right? Multiplying binomials, in this case, two, three, in this case, two. So I have the binomial x plus two times x minus five. Okay, so here I have a binomial multiplication. Now, what does it mean to square a binomial? So squaring a binomial means that everything that's inside the parentheses is the same. It means that everything inside the parentheses is the same. So it can be expanded or it can be simplified. So for example, I have x plus three squared. This is the same as saying x plus three times x plus three. And then this can be distributed to come up with a trinomial. And for this, we should understand our distributive property. Remember, our distributive property says that you're going to multiply everything on one side with everything inside everything else. So for example, here I have a times b plus a times c. If you want a concrete example of this numerically, we have 3 times x plus 3 times 2 equals 3x plus 6. Okay. Some of you might be used to seeing this with arrows, three times x, three x, three times two, six. And finally, what is the standard form of a polynomial? The standard form of a polynomial arranges its terms by degree in descending order, from highest to lowest. Descending order means from highest to lowest. So an example of this is, here we have a polynomial, we have that the degree is 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So it's organized from highest to lowest. So it is arranged in standard form. So with these concepts in mind, we are going to analyze our introduction launch. With these concepts in mind, we're going to analyze our introduction launch. Okay, so for our introduction launch, your introduction launch is going to look like this. So it says, compare and contrast. Analyze the two methods that the students use to rewrite 5x plus 2 times x minus 3 into standard form. Then answer the prompts by typing your response in the blue boxes. So in these boxes, we're going to type in our response. So what are important things to notice? What is it asking me to do? It's asking me to analyze the two methods was two methods. So this method and this method, okay? And to rewrite 5x plus 2 times x minus 3 into standard form and then answer the prompts. So this is all I'm going to be doing during the introduction launch, during this portion of the introduction launch. So I have reorganized this a little to highlight some of the concepts that are going to be important. You could go ahead and pause and try these out on your own and we can go over them together. So I'm going to first look at Priya's response. I'm gonna look at Priya's response. Priya likes to use diagrams to rewrite expressions like this. So her work looks like this. So Priya likes to use diagrams. So she used a grid right here, this grid right here. 
and she rewrote, so she wrote the 5x plus 2 on this side, and she wrote her x minus 3 right here. So we know that these two are together and things stuck together is a multiplication. So we have to multiply everything. So this grid helps Priya because she can just go ahead and do 5x times x is 5x squared, okay? 5x times negative 3 is negative 15x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative three is negative six. So now Priya has her individual terms and she goes ahead and rewrites the five X squared minus 15 X plus two X. Remember this is positive. So she put plus two X minus six. In this step, she noticed that she has like terms, negative 15 X plus two X. So she combined them. And because she wrote it in standard form, she is left with 5x squared minus 13x minus 6. It goes from highest to lowest degree. So it's already in standard form. So that is what Priya did. Let's look at what Tyler did. Let's look at what Tyler did. So this is Tyler's. It says, Tyler likes to use the distributive property. Ooh, let me mark this because we these are keywords that we need to have in mind to rewrite expressions like this so his work looks like this so what tyler did he decided okay i'm i need to multiply everything in here by everything in here so i'm going to multiply 5x times x minus 3 so he rewrote it like this then 2 times x minus 3 so we are distributing 5x times x and 5x times negative 3, which gives us 5x squared minus 15x, and then plus 2 times x and 2 times negative 3. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So now he realizes he has like terms. So negative 15x plus 2x is negative 13x, and it's already set up in standard form. So let me make some observations. So Priya ended up with 5x squared minus 13x minus 6. Tyler ended up with 5x squared minus 13x minus 6. So they're the same. So they end up with the final answer being the same. So one feature that both methods share. So what is something that both methods share? So I can write in here, they end up with the same answer. They end with the same answer. So that is a feature that is similar. If you notice another feature, you could go ahead and write that one down. What is one feature that is different for each method? So let me see. So in Priya's method, she had to multiply and then organize the terms. In Tyler's method, he just had to check if the terms were already in standard form. So I would say um, in Priya's method, you have to organize the terms into standard form. So you could go ahead and say in Priya's method, method, you have to organize the terms In standard form okay so and in Tyler's method you just have to check to make sure that they are in standard form okay so I hope this has been helpful there is a second portion of your introduction launch we are going to see what it's asking but you are going to work that independently with um, in your classroom or at home.
So the second portion of your introduction launch says, use either of these methods or another method to rewrite the expressions into standard form. So it's asking you to take all of these and rewrite them into standard form. Now, this might not be a lot of space right here, but one thing that you can do, and I will provide this within the lesson slides, um, you can reorganize everything and decide if you want to use Priya's method or if you want to use, so this would be Priya's method here, or if you want to use Tyler's method, or if you want to use this space to use a method that you are more comfortable with. Okay, so use these organizers to be able to work through this. Remember, we are using either method or another method to rewrite into standard form. I hope this has been helpful and have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next one.